Both teams stole a pick, like these yeah. crazy picks from the teams that they played against yesterday. So now we have Lycan against Lone Druid, and they're going to use it to their own advantage. We're also still waiting on the level sixes for some of these supports, like the clockwork would make it a lot easier to catch these supports, but they'll find DY anyway, trying to D-ward. Gets denied by Thompson. If I'm Tundra, I won an AC at some point in this game. I would not mind a Shiva's as well. Super valuable item versus these three right Smoke through. Players. Great target to be able to find. Got him on the other side of the charge, and then no! Could get off the Requiem. Ramsey's interrupted. He will not get it off. will not get it off. Denied for the full swing of Tundra as they turn that gank around. Going straight into the triangle. Aggressive play, but they know there's no Lycan ult, no Requiem. And next year, likely going to split up on the map, so this should be a clean pickoff of whoever Blair. they find. Try and get some vision, set up Ramses with his blink initiation, not even needed for DY in this case. He's going to blink deeper into the side of the map, look for other heroes, but it's just DY. Once again, I feel like time and time again, this man has been abandoned, it's extreme. No, they cannot stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against Tundra if even one of their spells is on cooldown. Dude, we've it. seen the catch and the lockdown be the issue. I mean, a Hurricane Pike is only going to take Thompson so far here. The Lycan might be able to run him down, especially with these Alpha Wolves. They've got him surrounded. The Shards, okay, and now there's a push away. And Lycan has totally given up on this one. He's left Jin Q behind. Says just one hero showing himself the Shattered Team and was enough to deter that Thompson from one shot to another. Throws a second one at XXS, which White Mon is not going to keep pursuing. He had the hook shot, but no follow up besides In that. The game, they were struggling to find some opening. He's going back for round two. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying, my man, if this one doesn't work, we got to go back and do some math here. <laughs> Though the fight is breaking out bottom. XM call. Congrats on your tormentor. Ramsey's meanwhile, he'll win some fights for you. A BKB arena that catches two. And also just giving them a counter to time zone, right? And when they get the upgrade, yep, they'll disperser. be able to just poof. Disperser super value in this match. And a boots of bearing as a third counter to it as well. Potentially Jin Q trying to buy himself a little bit of time here. That's all he will do. Time. It's the only I mean, resources he has, no HP to work with. I mean, are you going to take this fight or just give up the racks to try and get to your BKBs? It almost feels like you just want to give this up. Banish. Ramsey's coming back, a disruption to set things up on XM, who has no BKB to defend himself. He is all offense, no defense. A nice snowball into the neutral camp that they had vision of. He tries to go for a desperate TP out, but he is stuck here, the Cogs. Stop that one pretty easily. And once again, a duo of extreme that play together and die together. But those BKBs, they seem so far away with the pressure that Tundra is putting on them. They go for it anyway. They try and get this fight with a time zone, but here he goes. Disperser on out of there. He'll leave the bear behind. That's the best bounty extreme can get out of that situation. And Tundra can probably go back to it if they want. They can always make the jump with Ramses as well. Yeah, the push has come. No BKB for Ame, he's 100 off. All this attack speed slow is not going to stop Pure with an AC. And Jin Q tries to go in, puts him inside of the shard, and with that macro pyre out, they're able to do some damage. They drop the Requiem. Oh, it's pitiful. It doesn't it's do nearly fair, the man. damage that is required. Arena goes out, and it's XM who's going to be the victim instead, perhaps, as all three are going to die as Soxa with one poison cleans up all of them. That is done. Extreme gaming. They hardly even played this game. Three kills to their name before they call GG. Piper, how do we feel it fits in, Poppy? Are you happy to see this hero pop up? No. <laughs> no. But what you gonna do? You gotta fight green with green. You know, you pick Rubik, you answer with Viper. But you run into similar issues as game one. They already failed to defend one tower, but perhaps a second one can be defended here. It's a Viper Strike. Catches Ramses is his aggression will get him killed. Back, Back through the, the gate. gate they go, but they are going to be kind of set up. White Mon throws out the cocks on these heroes, but they don't actually have the numbers, perhaps, as so many heroes come through the gate. That extreme gaming overwhelmed Tundra. Kill the support, take down the bear, oh, they want go pure. after the hero as well. Pure, he draws a new bear out from the ground. Ame, he gets a couple of Jingo hits in his supports, though. Can't get there in time to be able to provide the disables. Thompson instead, they're in fighting trouble. Thompson. Thompson underneath the tank, can't live. Meanwhile, Ame gets 
turned around on by Pure, who pops his ultimate and his bear, managed to double team the Monkey King, it'll do the same to the Underlord. Pure is so strong in this early game. Definitely. Also, Roshan on the table, you said, was Oh, he's going to gate on a bottom, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, Roshan hits him, and here comes the gate. A move that Ame was not expecting. What does he do about this one? Hits the trickery, but he knows he's got to run the magic damage on Thompson. It's easily going to overwhelm him. Finally, the gate is put to, to use here, and Tundra back through it to the other side of the map. Very efficient move. Thompson was pinging that one out. Just an easy setup here from Ramses. He'll even go through the gate, so Tundra bringing five heroes back to this triangle, and XG's smoking straight into them here without the Monkey King. Fighting without the monkeys is a bold move, and they've already been jumped on, but what an ice pad macro pyre. A beautiful hit that does no damage, though. Pipe shrugs off most of it. Ramsey's Poor Ramses Barney. is stuck inside the macro pyre for so long, he almost dies. Still, though, the fight is good for Tundra, and they keep chasing after heroes. DY is going to be stunned up long enough for bear. the rest to follow it up. The bear does not quite die. We have ourselves a Dota game because this monkey is going to get the time he needs. Tundra immediately try and strike back without two of their cores. Two supports leading the way. Thompson to help out. XM with that vessel on him. Pipe. He's burning, but they do have supports coming in now. He's and then helped out by the pipe. Can he live through this? No, but he does get his revenge, certainly, from the grave. He spits out back at Tundra and will claim three lives for his own. And Abe is going to get another team fight clean up here. Says, thank you, XM. The buffet has been set. Initiations are going to become very key as this game progresses. What can Jin Q find? Oh, this is maybe this a little too awkward. deep. I'm not sure if you want committed. this one. Hex excess. He committed for that one. He throws out the pin. Where's, Where's he, going? he going? He's not going back. He pushes forward. Kamikaze straight past the tier two tower. The, the entire bloodstone for Ramses is flying out right now, but it's it's far. If actually take this fight right now, you're missing a huge amount of net worth on the Sand King. And Ame is maybe going to be able to get a really good ultimate he here. On all of the corner of the pit. He's going to throw it out. Drops an illusion. Found the strike. He went out to an illusion. That's disastrous. The rest of the team is going to have to matter. make a better initiation, but the Roshan's already dead. And Ame, he pops his BKB, but for what? To try and get Thompson, it seems like he's managed to get his Jingu who stacks up and will finish off that pesky Rubik. XXS needs some help. The bear is currently coming from him. What a hit from his NQ. But Ramses is still strong with a bloodstone. Sure. Running around with his sandstorm. He trying to chase after these heroes. Somehow Pure managed to get through this one. And now his bear starts going to work. A hit for the bounding strike. A push away from the bear. Get back, get back. Shin Q tries to make a run for it. But the glide here gets him in his hole. Standing strong. The Viper take gone. down the low druid once. Ame, can he make it twice though? In the way, XM, he's out of here. A TP out. TY does the same. But Ame will be left behind. Oh, pure. He switched his items onto the main lone druid. There's also a lot of four staffs on this Tundra side you have to think about. You have double four staff on the two supports, and you have a four staff on Thompson. So there's a lot of bailout potential, getting heroes out of the Wukong, it's out of the control. Really good. They know they just see the Tormentor, but Ame, he goes in pretty deep, breaks that smoke. They're Ooh. deciding whether to oh, he hopped away from the Bro Strike. Just in time. Back now in. he hops back into the BKB, commits that Wukong's command. And now let's see if the Lone Druid can stand toe to toe. He gets the four step outside of the Wukong's command, but the bear does die. Meanwhile, XX is getting peppered by Soxa. A stolen bound the strike will stop him getting through the gate, and Soxa does the damage. Now XM, he's not you sure quite what to do. He don't it's gonna stop any movement from him. An ice path goes out, tries to go for the kill on Ramsey's hoping beyond hope that he can get that damage done, but it will not happen. DY will follow the rest of his team into the grave. Ame is the only survivor. Nobody dies on the side of Tundra. Yeah. And he just finished a full assault Kuros. They're just gonna five-man gate into Ame. Ame says, Ame's welcome. gonna go throw out the Wukong's command. They immediately hit the impale and pure. Oh, he got the fear. Almost pushed Ame out of it, but the Wukong's command stays alive. Can the damage stay up though? The clockwork goes down. That? How did Pure manages to get out of here. What? He's making a run for it. Throws out the Gleitnirs. The stuns are after him. Ame hops no. on top. Stun, stun, stun. Where's the stuns? They didn't have it. They go for the bear instead, but they needed that kill on Pure. Oh, and Ame. He feels strong with the shield room, but he is going to be walking to Tundra Heroes. They immediately jump for Ramses. And what a Wukong's command hitting all five of these heroes. Tundra on the run. Caught in the pit, though. Pure, his hero, is going to make it out. His bear will not. And XM, only first step forward. Pops BKB. Putting damage on the top 10. Damage on top 10. It's going to be enough. Can he get away, though? Ramsey with a buyback now. Pops his bloodstone epicenter. Big XM. His BKB is only going to last for so long. And Shin Q, he's going to get diced up. Pure is big and he's bad. He needs a deadly bear. That is going oh, through hero after hero. And immediate buyback. Ame 
Lightning is going to buy back, but what about the Underlord? What about DY, who's left behind on the Jakiro? They won't have all their heroes. They take the fight, they get some kills, they get some buybacks, but ultimately that 27,000 net worth lead is beginning to show its face. Man, doing the damage fast enough to kill them. What does it mean when you have to play against another life on one of these cores. A gate straight to it. They cannot afford to give up this Aegis, but no one's actually going through the gate right Ame now. Tundra. In the back. Ame sitting up in the back, jumps through the trees. A Wukong command dead center is pure, and he's already been hit by some stuns. They are all in to kill the low drone, but pure got his BKB off. They got a bear kill. Now Ame. they have to come in for the road shot. Ame caught by Ramses with the hit. Why not get the hook? And Ramses takes the Aegis. Doesn't know Ame his chance in immortality. It is ripped away from him, and Tundra stomp extreme into the ground. They got basically everything out of that that they it's wanted. going the same ways, running over the same ground, surrounded by the same old fears. Another year of unrealized potential. Another tournament of broken dreams. Oh, yeah. Maybe he can save it, but a force F in. It gets an XM killed. No defense. Ame, XM, both out. No damage in the tank left for extreme. The best they could do is get... Uh, uh, Sam King, who had an Aegis anyway, they killed him twice, but thrice he'll revive. Thrice he'll come back into this team fight to end the game. The throat is exposed, and Tantra will lay claim to a top four at the International. And they will eliminate the last team trying to fight against this European cabal, for lack of a better word. Thank you very much, Kiap. Yes, I am here with Ramses from Tundra. I mean, top four at the International. How does that feel? No more curses. No more curses, absolutely not. You break it, you get there. I mean, this is the first for you, right? I mean, with this team as well. Are you feeling good? Yeah, I feel good. Uh, I enjoy to be here, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and the crowd's behind you as well, that's nice to see. So, who on your team do you put this win down to? You know, who do you feel like performed really, really well here? Today, Pure plays super amazing on the Launderit. Yeah, I think Pure is the best. You think Pure is the best? I think a lot of people would agree with you, but you yourself had some fantastic moments in this game as well. How did it feel at the end there on that Sand King, jumping into the Roshan, getting the Aegis, and basically securing your team the game with the rumble of the crowd? How was that? Uh, I think this moment, if even they have a edges and I just jump after, it's not gonna money changes. We're gonna win anyway. But they have last try, you know. That's it. That's it indeed. Well, I mean, you've been playing on this team for about five months now. Saxa comes in as well. How are you finding the connection between each other to play this well and make it this far at the international? <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Saxa is a super good player. We kind of not much practice have with him, but we just enjoy the tournament and just we'll see what's going to happen. Maybe we can win. Who knows? Maybe, maybe, Ramses. Thank you very, very much for this performance. Congratulations on your top four finish. Well done, and we'll send it back to the panel.